My name is Vanessa Andrioni, and I am a senior attending Florida State University specializing in information technology. I will soon be graduating with the hopes of acquiring a job in the IT field. I want to gain the experience and knowledge to become a network administrator. I am dedicate to, dedicated to everything I set my sights on and will strive to do my absolute best to com in completing every task. I want to better myself in the area of networking and I will stop at nothing to reach that goal. This tutorial will teach you how to securely set up your wireless router using WPA2 personal encryption. Let's begin. Now let's begin by locating your Ethernet cable, which looks like this. We're going to take both ends of this cable and connect it to both the router and your personal computer. Now the internet port on the router is located on the back of the router. Take the other side and plug it into the internet port of your, of your personal computer. Now we can move on. Now that you have successfully connected your ethernet cable to both your router and your computer, we can move on. Locate your web browser and open it. We are going to navigate to the built-in administration web server for your router. And to do that, all you have to do is go to your address bar and type in 192.168.1.1. You will be prompted to enter a username and a password. For username, enter in admin. For password, do the same. You can change these settings later. Now, locate the wireless tab located on the top of the page. Once we are directed to the wireless section of the page, locate wireless security. Now that we have been directed to the wireless security page, you will notice that your security mode is, has been disabled. Therefore, you are not being protected from outside threats. To change this, use the drop-down menu and choose WPA2 Personal. Once that has been selected, you can now enter in a secure passphrase. And just keep in mind that a secure passphrase is between 8 and 15 characters, is alphanumeric, and uses some symbols. So for this, we'll just make up something real quick. you can enter in anything you'd like. Once that's done, hit save settings. This may take a while depending on your connection speed. Once the settings are done being changed, you will be prompted that the settings are successful. Click continue. Now we will navigate back to the basic wireless settings so that we can choose an SSID. An SSID, which is a service set identifier, is the name you will give your network. Unlike a passphrase, an SSID does not have to be a secure name. It could be anything you desire. So for this tutorial, I will just name it the name of the router, Linksys. You can name it whatever you want. Once you have landed on a name that you enjoy, hit Save Settings. Remember, this might take a while if you have a slow connection. Once the settings are successful, click continue. Now that you have completed securely setting up your wireless network, you must connect to the network. So close your web browser. Once you have closed your web browser, find your network icon located on the lower right hand corner of your screen. Once you have found it, right click it and click connect to a network. A window will pop up showing all the available networks in your range. Locate your network. Once you have located your network, click it and hit connect. If you are able to connect, then you have successfully secured your home wireless network. Congratulations, you can now surf the web knowing you are securely protected. Remember to reset your password at least every, every 30 days to ensure protection. Hopefully this tutorial has been nothing but helpful to you in your pursuit to securing your wireless network using WPA2 personal encryptions. If you have any questions, concerns, or problems, please feel free to contact me via email at vea05 at fsu.edu.